Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models. Today we are reviewing Russian Armored High Mobility Vehicle Gas 233014STS. This is a relatively old kit. It was out in the market in 2013, if I believe. It is a third from the series of Velociraptor from Mank and represents a very detailed and uh, interesting vehicle with an interior. As you can see, the box is very nice, thick and with the satin finish. Wonderful box art, typical from Mank. They produce very high quality products. You can see on the side of it there is a three-tone camouflage, the new camouflage. There is a description on what we have as a vehicle and additional picture of a other option of the camouflage inside. Let's crack the box open and see what we have inside of it. So everything inside is in plastic envelopes. I'm gonna pre-open those for you and I'm gonna show you what's inside. This is a basic unpacking. Let's unload everything. And you can see a very thick cardboard, very nice box. And let's go on with the sprues one by one. So let's start with the tires. They are flexible and we have five of them with a good thread. Everything is visible. They are detailed very nicely although there are a few aftermarket parts already out there available. The clear parts are in a separate envelope except that they are in one more envelope. I don't want to open this to not ruin everything but I have seen the Doobie clear material and it's wonderful. This is the best clear plastic that I've seen so far so I think I can trust them with them with, with the execution of the clear part so I think you should do this is part of the chassis very well detailed the tanks here we have the bottom part the texture is wonderful and even if the vehicle is open it can represent nice weathering not that those vehicles are used very much because they are relatively newcomers in the war scene but if you decide to make it you have the option the other part it's the upper part which seems pretty simple but it's nicely textured and I don't see how the floor the ceiling actually will be visible but everything else looks fine with it here we have two identical sprues for the interior I'm going to show only one of them there is a seat there is more seats actually additional materials some stuff that I have no idea about but probably those are parts of the interior some arms here and there the plastic is green dark green which I haven't seen from Meng yet doors more parts of the interior the steering wheel the dashboard which is very highly detailed as you can see on the other part everything is well represented as well next we have additional small parts tow cables part of the exhaust system I assume these are additional hatches once we get to the instructions we will see where everything goes
we have machine guns here probably some sort of a turret of the vehicle itself tiny details very nicely molded crisp typical from Mank even if the kit is two year old they showed what they are capable of this is the roll bars here additional texture rear view mirrors probably drivetrain transmission details and so on we have decals these are for the interior and we have poly caps and photo edge parts the photo edge is not big it's a small mesh but considering the total amount of parts is pretty much enough so let's see what we have in the instruction sheet so there we have the instructions outside their high-end material inside they're more like typical paper sheet short description what is gas tiger short description what we need to build that I'm pretty sure that everybody already know that and few steps attaching frame parts transmission assembly more transmission assembly suspension more frame parts we have dashboard assembly hydraulic rods gearbox ammunition rack seats interior part chassis touching the seats putting everything into order how to apply decals here and the turret that I showed you all parts there we go with the upper part sealing everything into place It looks like a simple project and from what we have seen from Meng this is not their typical job but having in mind its size they pretty much stick to their complexity. We have in the end sprue description and camouflage. As you can see, this is typical new Russian camouflage scheme. And on the other side, we have a victory parade vehicle and single tone. Probably not many of you will choose to do that because it's rather boring. I know that there are aftermarket parts for this kit, which includes uh, lights, resin tires, and some other stuff like photo edge and things that companies have to show off for so pretty much this is it the tiger from mang nice representation new vehicle i hope you like it and see you in the next one